Again, my name is Dylan Black. This is Daytime Ottawa Rogers TV. All right, he's here with ideas for summer entertaining with a focus on recipes, summer cocktail wear, uh, decor enhancements, perfect for home or at the cottage. Wow, it's Nick. Manolovich joining us from Weekend at the Cottage. Hi again. Hello, Del you always get my name correct, so you I get did. extra brownie points <laughs> as always. I only ask you eight times before the show <laughs> to make sure. Weekendatthecottage.com yep. is the website. Tell us about this amazing, amazing thing you've got going on. Yep. We are a food and drink recipe. We, we focus on entertaining. Ultimately, the goal is to make every day feel like it's a weekend. That's beautiful. So whenever you spend time with your friends and family, we want you to chill out, relax, and enjoy. Okay, and it is the time of year. People are outdoors. They're just, they're making and their places look nice. Yeah. You want to start with decor ideas? I do. Okay. I do. Um, so going to get an oil change, go into a Canadian Tire and I see a whole line of stuff uh, and this kind of was my uh, jumping point for decor. Things like, they're a little noisy, but really beautiful uh, patio lights. You'll mm -hmm. be amazed at the variety now. Um, they come in like little pineapples, they come Edison bulbs, they come looking like little vintage uh, lanterns, stars. And just remember when you're doing these, they don't necessarily just have to go outside or over a patio. You could hang them in your kitchen. You can do them on a table around a bar to mm -hmm. create a little focal point. Mm -hmm. And I really want to stress that you know, you're creating a wonderful look for people to enjoy. And I find outdoor lights, I mean, it's not just about Christmas time. I mean, people are, Correct. they have them out year-round now. Right, right, absolutely. And this is a great little springboard for that. Okay, uh, I did mention cocktail wear. Cocktail so wear. So you want to talk about just some nice glasses, mugs. Yeah, really cool. I love these glasses. Uh, this is, again, Canadian Tire. It's called the Canvas Line. And these are little tiny, like, um, they remind me of that Log Rollers waltz. Remember that song? Ah. It's gorgeous. But the thing about them that I love is that they're uh, in a, a, a nice, lucite plastic so they don't break. I'm not worried about kids heading down to the dock. Same thing with dishware. We have our dishes uh, and also these beautiful tin mugs for my morning, oh, tin. my morning cocktail. Uh, a, a good cup of coffee I think is yeah. really great and I love this whole look. Spectacular. Really, really wonderful. Do you stick to uh, coffee with that morning cocktail? Yes, yeah. yes. I do. Yes, he had an answer for that quickly. Yes. Okay, summer entertaining should definitely be fun and you've ar already come up with some fun ideas yeah. for decor and, and, and the cocktail glasses. Uh, you want to talk about the food. Yeah. Uh, keeping it light. Light, but also I wanted to talk about two really easy ideas and how to just change them up a little bit with flavor enhancements. First thing, this is going to be my salad of the summer. I have some fresh kale that I've chopped up, and in there I also put some mint. This is very fragrant. This is very healthy. I have two shredded carrots. I have some grated Parmesan. Mm. Three ingredients. We're going to add a little bit of a grapeseed oil, um, but you could use a walnut oil or a nut oil if you like, and then give me a squeeze of lemon, and you have, I think, uh, this summer's most flavorful salad. You toss it up, and you're serving, and it's done. My gosh. It, it is really, honestly, Dylan, this is fantastic. Yeah. Gorgeous, uh, wonderful flavors, l really great. The last thing you want to do is just pop up the flavor with a little bit of spice. Give um, it a kick kick. And again, the options are endless, right? Yeah. You have a, a smoky flavored habanero Tabasco. You have a very um, spicy, um, regular, and then a mild. So mm. take your pick. What do you think, mild? Um, you know what? I'm not one of those guys that says, like, I could take any spice or, like, mild for me is probably mild. my, so we'd my put speed, a couple, right? Mild, so put a couple little shots of this beautiful Tabasco on top. We give it a stir and you're ready to go. And it's what I love about this, it's this cheesy lemon hit with mint, kale, and spice. It is a remarkable salad. And I know we're going to get a lot of requests for this recipe. It'll go up on our website uh, two weeks from now. Weekendatthecottage.com. Uh, absolutely. Fantastic. And that, that's very affordable looking as well. Totally. And it's important. easy. Super easy. And you can make it. Like, I just did it, right? Good you could job. do this. <laughs> You'd be surprised. <laughs> Serious. Okay. All right. So moving along. Uh, by the way, uh, you do believe in like local produce as well. Uh, absolutely. Locally grown, organic, you will taste the difference. And I also think it's important to support you know, your local farmers, the purveyors who are struggling or, or trying to make a go of their business mm -hmm. is important. Super important. Okay, let's talk about uh, breakfast for the most part, or could you do this for lunch? <laughs> this, you, you could eat this anytime. This was day, me correct? one morning at the cottage, kind of bored. You could eat it anytime. It's a Nick, uh, it's an egg Nick muffin. Um, and what we're Say that one more time. I, it's an egg Nick muffin. <laughs> That's we're cute. Muffin tin. I'm taking a little <laughs> biscuit cutter. It is cute. Yeah. We are cutting out the center so you have this shape that we then place into the muffin tin. I cooked off a little bit of bacon, so I have a nice strip of bacon. And then, this is a local organic farm fresh egg. 
can crack it into that little kind of cup we just created. Mm. See this? We're not going to waste that. No. We're going to chop it up. We're going to add a little bit of cheese to it, right? So now we've just done a topper. Before we do that, we're going to add some fresh salsa on top. Mm. Now you add a sprinkle of your topper, and you would do this with all the wells. Look at how beautiful this is. Uh, and again, we're back to the seasoning. Um, for this, I really love this smoky chipotle flavored on top, and you're kind of boosting the flavor profile. So a couple, oh, it's gonna come out of there. I know it is. Oh, there, three, it is. Three, there it is. Uh, you bake it for 10 minutes for soft egg, 12 minutes for hard in a 425 oven, and they're fantastic. You didn't have to mix up the egg or anything like that? No. You just, just crack no, it. No, it's just it. fantastic. And when you serve it, I like to serve it on a little plate with more of the salsa, and it's good to go. That's amazing. I know your website is just crammed with all kinds of cool things. So if, if people, I understand these recipes, uh, and spring recipes, summer recipes are all available. You can yep. sign up to the newsletter. Yep. Waiting for you right there. Yep. Uh, what is, would you say is one of the most popular recipes on your, your website? Um, well, a lot of times it's weekend recipes. Like we did a beautiful chicken tomato pasta bake. Something you can put together real quickly. We don't want you struggling you know, with your family. You've got a car full of people. Whatever you're doing, really relaxed, entertaining. That pasta bake is really popular. Our oven-baked French toast is really popular. Mm -hmm. um, but on Thursday, yeah. <laughs> Thursday this week, we're posting an incredible lime pie that is spectacular. Wow. Do you have to taste test that uh, lime pie? I, I, you know, that's the problem. That's my job. I've got to taste everything. <laughs> I don't difficult know. Job, it's very tough, difficult. tough job. I know you've got gardening tips, uh, yes. spring flower arranging, tip, uh, arranging tips. It, it seems like you have everything going on mm -hmm. there, and we appreciate your time here today. Thank you. It's a lot of fun. Thank you. Wow. Uh, it smells great in here as well. Nick from Weekend at the Cottage, weekendatthecottage.com. More daytime coming up in moments on Rogers TV.